నమస్తే సృష్టి ప్రెసెన్స్ అండ్ ఎక్స్క్లూజివ్ సిరీస్ ఆన్ సీక్రెట్స్ ఆఫ్ వృంతావన అండ్ ద డివైన్ టేల్స్ ఆఫ్ కృష్ణ ఫ్రమ్ కుమార వైష్ణవ సంప్రదాయ స్టోరీ టెల్లర్ ఓజస్విత చతుర్వేది నమస్తే చిల్డ్రన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు అవర్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ మానసిక యాత్ర ఆఫ్ రజమండల we have spoken about so much since the beginning shrimati radharani the 12 forests the songs of the gopikas the three major forms of krishna in vrindavana there is one more very important personality that we have to discuss no vraja yatra can be complete without her she symbolizes the love of krishna and is a pure delight for krishna bhaktas in every way she manifests can you all predict who we are heading towards hmm yamuna ji jay yamuna maharani yamuna ji is well known in her river form in vrajamandala but her river form is no ordinary water her waters represent pure bhakti of shri krishna it is the bhakti of krishna that has actually melted and formed the river yamuna let us speak a little about the background of yamuna ji Do you know who are the parents of Yamuna ji? I will tell you. As a personality, Yamuna ji is the daughter of Surya Deva and Sandhya Devi. And she has a twin brother too. Guess who? Yamaraj. Yamaraj or Dharmaraj and Yamuna ji are twins. When Yamuna ji descended on earth in the form of a river, she landed on the cliff of a mountain in the Himalayas called Kalinda. That is why she is also known as Kalindi. But her most important identity is that she is one of the queens of Shri Krishna. Shri signifies Krishna Prema and decides to flow in the form of a river to partake in every pastime of her dear Lord Krishna. Krishna spends most of his time on her banks in Vrajabhumi. Let us remember some of these together. When Krishna was born in the jail of Mathura his father Vasudev carried him across Yamuna ji to Gokul When Vasudev stepped into the waters of Yamuna she surged with ecstasy and her waves began to rise almost drowning Vasudev Baby Krishna realized her heart and dropped his tiny feet in the waters As soon as Yamuna Maharani touched the feet of her dear lord she became calm and gave way to Vasudev ji thus allowing Krishna to be safely escorted in Gokul Yamuna ji has been witness and continues to spread the aroma of Krishna leela through her banks or ghats banks are known as ghats in hindi in Gokul we have two famous ghats of Yamuna ji One is Yashoda Ghat which is a spot that was very dear to mother Yashoda and she used to take her bath here. The next is Brahmanda Ghat. This is the place where baby Krishna had eaten mud and when his mother asked him to open his mouth he showed her the entire creation. Another lesser known place in Gokul is the Thakurani Ghat. When Vallabha Charya arrived in Vrajabhumi he rested at this place on the banks of Yamuna ji Yamuna ji gave darshan to Vallabha Charya ji and it is through her that he got darshan of Shri Krishna as well Vallabha Charya ji established the Pushti Marg the worship of Krishna in the form of Shri Nath ji and Yamuna ji is the topmost deity for the devotees of Pushti Marg In Vrindavana Krishna performed innumerable leelas on her banks subduing Kaliya in Kali Deh stealing the gopis clothes at Cheer Ghat killing Keshi demon at Keshi Ghat are a few that are famous and we all know here are some other ghats as well after shri krishna fought with kaliya nanda maharaj offered cows in donation to brahmanas as a token of gratitude to the lord This was done at Gopal Ghat. Imli Tala Ghat is a famous ghat famous for its tamarind tree under which Krishna cried in separation of Shrimati Radha Rani when he remembered her. And then we have the sweet Yugal Ghat where Krishna and Radha Rani bathed together. 
and the mesmerizing Shringaravat, a banyan tree on the banks of Yamunaji where Krishna decorated Srimati Radharani. There was once upon a time that Maharishi Durvasa arrived in Vrindavana. The gopis wanted to serve him and they prepared many delicious dishes. But they realized that Maharshi was sitting in Samadhi on the other side of Yamunaji. And if they had to wait for a boat ride, it would become late. Yamunaji helped the gopis and became very, very shallow, allowing them to cross her just with their feet. This place is Pani Ghat. There are so many more Leelas that have taken place on the banks of Yamunaji. Just like Shri Krishna is unending, his Leelas are the same. And every drop of Yamuna Maharani is soaked with multiple layers of Krishna Leela and Krishna Prema. So, when you visit Vrindavan, go to her banks, touch her waters, bathe in her waters, sing on her banks and dive into her bliss. Her waves still echo with the sound of Krishna's flute. She is very merciful to stay behind for us even after Krishna has left the planet. Before we close today, there is one interesting point. In North India, a festival called Bhai Dooj is very widely celebrated. This comes two days after Deepavali. It is a festival dedicated to siblings and do you know how it started? On this day, Yamaraja visited his sister Yamunaji. Yamunaji welcomed him with a lot of warmth and love. When Yamaraja was about to leave, Yamunaji asked him for a special boon. She requested that anyone who would bathe in her waters on the day of Bhai Dooj would never be attacked by Yamadutas. And even today on Bhai Dooj, thousands of siblings gather together and come to take a dip in Yamunaji. Maybe you can plan a visit during this time too. Just like Yamuna Maharani, there is one more personality who has partaken and witnessed almost all Leelas of Shri Krishna. With the gopis, with the gopas, with the cows, with his parents. Killing of demons, playing the flute, Rasa Leela and butter stealing. These two personalities have been a part of every Krishna Leela. We have discussed Yamunaji today and the next episode will disclose the second deity. Suspense till next week for all of you. You can try guessing by commenting or messaging us your thoughts on who this may be. Till then, Radhe Radhe. Bye.